This video is sponsored by Bucked Up. Bucked Up is a premium workout and health supplement company dedicated to making you healthier. They have everything from pre-workout to multivitamins. They even have an energy drink. Visit BuckedUp.com and use code TMN20 for 20% off your order. As of last night, a lawsuit filed by former racer Brian Moreau against Feld Entertainment was discovered via public document website Pace Monitor. In this video, we will go over Moreau's allegations against Feld. Keep in mind, these are not fact. The following information is from those court documents and are not proven at the moment. Let's start with a quick history of the Brian Moreau incident. Moreau was a French motocross superstar who dreamed of racing in the United States. In 2020, his dreams came true when he struck a deal with Troy Designs KTM for the 2020 Supercross season. His first and only Supercross race of his career was the 2020 Tampa Supercross race held at Raymond James Stadium. During practice, Brian Moreau crashed in the sand whoops and landed headfirst. The Alpine Stars medical crew assisted Moreau, got him into the medical mule, and escorted him to the medical trailer. It was later determined that he had a back injury and was paralyzed. To this day, Moreau is paraplegic. In this lawsuit, Brian Moreau is basically suing Feld Entertainment for negligence that led to a spinal injury. The document says, quote, As a direct and proximate result of the defendant's individual and collective negligence, gross negligence, and or reckless disregard for the life, health, safety, and well-being of plaintiff, who had just turned 18 years old two weeks before the race, plaintiff is now paraplegic. The people being blamed for this collective negligence consist of Feld agents, employees, directors, representatives, affiliates, contractors, race directors, flaggers, flag marshal, and the Alpine Stars medical crew. Brian Moreau's argument against Feld consists of the following. When Moreau crashed, a yellow flag was being waved, but there was no effort to red flag the race. He considered this important considering he landed headfirst on the middle of the track and was unable to move. Moreau's argument goes on to say that he clearly told the medical crew that he had potentially damaged his spine and or spinal cord. The medical crew did not make any attempt to stabilize his neck or spine before attempting to put him in the mule. Moreau went further claiming with picture evidence that the medical crew lifted him up by his armpits to drag him off the track, again ignoring his warning that he may have injured his back. Moreau claims that it wasn't until he was put in the ambulance that they had thought to stabilize his neck and back. This is all the information we currently have on this newly filed lawsuit against Feld Entertainment. Again, we want to say that this information in this video is all unconfirmed. They are just Brian Rowe's allegations against Feld. Some of it is backed up at picture proof, but until the lawsuit concludes, we cannot confirm nor deny any of these claims. What do you guys think about this lawsuit? Does Brian Rowe have any traction with this lawsuit? Do you think it will lead to a settlement? Let us know in the comments.